Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Chen. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I got this look. It's simple and I like it. So, uh, let's get into the video. Every single day. To clean up my eyebrows, I went in with CoverGirl Concealer in the shade D700. And I also went in with a CoverGirl White Base just around my eyelids because the color I'm going to be using today, I want it to pop. So what I did, I also went in with a fluffy brush just to blend out any harsh edges from the concealer and the white base. Today I'm going to be working from the Warrior 3 palette by Juvia's Place and the first color that I'm going in with is color Kahania. I'm going to use that as my first transition color and it's more like a brown or a burnt orange color and I'm just going to use a small fluffy brush for this and I'm starting at the outer corner of my eye and I'm bringing the color towards the inner corner of my eye. You're going to blend that out as much as you can because we don't want the color to be too bright. As I said, it is a transition color, so we want it to be as light as possible. Once I'm done blending that out, I'm going to go back into the same Juvia Space Place palette. Girl, a girl cannot talk right now. And I'm going to go back in at with the same Juvia Place palette. And I'm going to go in with uh, the other brown that's in there. It's more like a, a cocoa color. And I'm going to go right on top of that first transition shade that I put on just to give my eye a little bit more depth. I know, I know, I know. You guys are probably thinking, what the hell is this girl doing? She crazy. But trust me. This look is going to come together and you're going to figure out why I use those two colors as my transition color once I get into my main color. Now for my main color. This palette is called Color Fusion and it's by Glaze and the palette is Over the Rainbow. We are going to go in with that blue color from that palette. For this, you're going to be using a flat brush, a small flat brush, and then you're just going to pat the color into your skin. Once I'm done applying my main color, I am going to go in with a medium fluffy brush and I'm going to blend upwards into that for, uh, first transition color that I did we're just gonna blend 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 now this will take some time because you don't want to do it too hard you don't want to go too fast because you don't want your color going all over the place so you're gonna keep blending until it starts fading away a bit Once you're done blending that, I am going to go back into my Warrior 3 palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to go back in again with that Kahina color. And I'm going to go right back up on top of that blended blue that we just blended. Now, this is where you want to use your blending to make it look like somebody just popped you in the face and gave you a black eye. This is how you know you're blending right, honey, when you're starting to look all bruised. Now I'm going to go back into my Warrior 3 palette. And there's this nice metallic blue that I'm going to put right over top of my main color. Just to give it a little shimmer, a little shine. Make it pop a little bit more. Now 
Now I'm going to go in and clean up my fall away because trust me, honey, I don't want no shimmer messing up this look. Now I'm going to go in with this blue eyeliner. I think I ordered this off Amazon. I think it was like 99 cents. So I'm not sure. But it doesn't really show up much on the look that I'm doing right now. But once you get into the natural light, it really gives your eye such a popping look. Like, it's amazing. It's like transparent now that I'm putting it on. But once I get into the light, it shows up so much better. I'm going to use that same metallic blue eyeliner just to go on my waterline just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. For foundation today I'm using Fit Me and this is by Maybelline in the shade 368. I'm just going to put a little bit of the foundation on my hand. Now you don't want to use too much because apparently this foundation is full coverage so a little bit will go a long way. Never mind me, honey, babe's off to work, so I gotta get my kiss in. Now I'm gonna highlight my face, and I am gonna go in with this CoverGirl uh, concealer. I can't remember the shade. I will leave it in the description. Now to blend this out, I'm just going in with a damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend it out as much as I can. Now I'm going in with my Remy Stay Matte Loose Powder and I'm setting under my eyes. Pretty much wherever I use the concealer to brighten my face, I am using the Remy Stay Matte Loose Powder to set that. To contour my face, I am going in with a black opal a stick foundation and it's about maybe three shades darker than my regular foundation. Now I'm going back in with my foundation brush just to remove any harsh lines from my contouring and to blend all that together. Now girls contouring this big old nose, honey. Now I'm going to use my NYX Matte Finishing Spray to set my face. The mascara that I'm using today is called Lash Sensational. And let me tell you something. This is about 6 bucks in Walmart. And I love it. I have a lot of lashes but they're not long and you could hardly see them. But when I wear this, I really, really don't even have to put on lashes that's how good 
this mascara is. I went ahead and applied my falsies off camera. I can't remember what name they go by or the number, but they are from Sephora. And today my highlight is CoverGirl uh, True Blend Super Stunner. I love, love, love this highlighter. So today I'm just going to go with some natural lips. Um, I'm not going to do too much with the lips because I don't want to take away from my eyes. So I am just lining my lips with uh, brown lip liner and this is also from Sephora. Once I'm done lining my lips, I'm just going to go in with some lip plumper, just to give my lips a little bit of a sheen. So right now I'm in between hairstyles. My hair appointment is not until next week. So what I'm going to do, we all know that I'm the queen for head wraps. I love head wraps. I don't know what it is. It just makes me feel so sisterish. Whenever time I go outside with a head wrap, people always come up to me and they're like, Oh my God, where'd you get this? Where can I buy this? Blah, blah, blah. But honestly, a lot of my head wraps... I just make them myself like for example the one that I'm gonna be using now it's just the bottom of a skirt that I cut off and I just use it to wrap my head like I don't go out and spend money on head wraps like I do have some that I spend money on but then my everyday head wraps I don't spend money on oh, well no ain't nobody got time for that honey I use what I have sometimes I use marinas t-shirts tights whatever it is you name it, I can wrap my head with it. 